and welcome back in everyone. We're now joined by UMaine uh, Political Science Chair Mark Brewer. Thank you so much for being with us today. Again, thanks for having me. So, you know, we're hearing a lot about the results of it from today basically being a layup. It's a foregone conclusion. You know, that may even be affecting voter turnout as we just heard. But what should folks be paying attention to anyway beyond the obvious? Who wins? Who doesn't? Are there sort of metrics or demographics that folks should still zero on in you know, to gather some conclusions from. Right, yeah, I mean, you can still learn a lot, even though everybody, I think, knows who's going to win on each side today. Um, and not just in Maine, in all the places that are having contests. Um, you're probably going to be able to find more on the Republican side, because there is more of a choice there. Mm -hmm. um, for, for former President Trump, you really want to look at how he's doing among suburban voters, among women voters, among voters with a college education, uh, minority voters, particularly African-American men, mm -hmm. um, groups that, that he's performed poorly in in 2020, um, but is right now polling a little bit better in. Um, mm -hmm. President Biden, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to tell mm -hmm. since um, Dean Phillips isn't the same level of competition as, as Ambassador Haley. Mm -hmm. um, and we don't have something like Michigan voters did um, to vote uncommitted, but um, mm -hmm. still worth looking at what um, turnout levels are for Democrats. You know, it's interesting too, we were talking about the, those kind of more subtle metrics because one of the groups that Nikki Haley has done somewhat well in is in, um, independent voters. Right. And so should what does it mean to see a change in that? Oh, that's that's absolutely huge. I mean, those mm -hmm. are the voters who are, who are almost certainly going to decide the outcome of the presidential election in November. Mm -hmm. um, Maine is an important state to watch. We have a lot of unenrolled voters. Um, they can choose to participate in either party's primary today. Mm -hmm. It will be interesting to see what um, Nikki Haley does among those voters today in Maine. We've, frequ we've frequently heard the phrase, so goes Maine, so goes the nation. That might be, so what you're saying is that might be particularly true in this upcoming election because of those independents. Uh, certainly, if, how independents break in Maine um, will tell us a lot, I think, about how they break in the nation, which mm -hmm. will tell us a lot about the outcome. I also want to talk a little bit about something else that we've heard a lot about. Uh, the question, too, from the, the referendum that was a landslide victory, Maine voters voting overwhelmingly to keep foreign money out of Maine elections. That decision now having been challenged as potentially unconstitutional, that could have huge ramifications in an election cycle that is almost certainly going to be incredibly contentious. Talk a little bit about what we could see first, let's say, if the decision is upheld. Um, so that it would stay banned. It would stay banned. Yeah. Well, I mean, the decision is is pretty narrowly tailored for ballot initiatives and ballot questions, right? So, I mean, that's the first issue, and uh, that will depend on what we have on the ballot mm -hmm. um, in November. Um, so, if it's if it's upheld, that will limit um, the amount of money coming in to a certain extent. It'll still be a large amount of money coming in, obviously, mm -hmm. but there'll be less um, less of it to come in because foreign sources will be banned. Now, if it's not banned, if the decision is reversed, now you're talking about foreign entities, foreign governments, possibly what flooding our election cycle. Well, certainly, um, that's the fear of, of people who wanted to pass the ban in the first place, right? So, I mean, that's how much of it actually comes in will remain to be seen, but it, it could be a big problem. All righty. Well, thank you so much for your time and your insight. We really appreciate it. And folks, stick with us for our updated extended forecast coming your way.